Shalom beloved saints and the followers of Yeshua. Um, it is so amazing that in this season that we are approaching, we are crossing over from 21 Gregorian calendar, 2021 to 2022. Um, in the Hebrew calendar, it's usually falling into Nisan, and Nisan is about um, the the end of um, the end of um, uh, Mar uh, March, and uh, yeah, that's the day of Nisan. From there, usually the Jews counting by the moons, and we going on the Gregorian calendar, which begin to counting from the sun. So uh, both because we are Gentiles and they are the Jews, the, the Jew and Gentiles. And now actually two are coming one in one new man. And this is what's going to happen. And this is what the fresh revelation is coming, uh, which is, is going freshly from the word of God themselves, itself through the epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Romans. And uh, as we are approaching the fresh revelation coming upon the book of Romans, both for the Jews and Gentiles, which will bring us in this next decade into tremendous oneness and completeness, both Jew and Gentiles and, and Greek are coming together in one new man, Yeshua. Um, I was just uh, listening um, actually reading through early accounts, some of the early missionaries that went to China and they begin to introduce them to the book of uh, Romans. And uh, they were they were amazed. This, they say the, 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 the Chinese people, this, this is the, you foreigners, because they come from United States missionaries uh, association to China. And they said, you foreigners has been spying on us. You have been studying all of our weaknesses because this book of Romans, it has to, it was written and described the weaknesses of Chinese church and Chinese people. And uh, excited because that's the good news. It's not only to the Romans, it's not only to the Chinese, but it's to the Greek, to the uh, Polish people, to the German, uh, Spanish people, uh, Italian and uh, all different nations, tribes, and tongue and language, and Jewish people, of course, and the Middle East, every group of the people, they will find themselves very amazing, uh, 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 the weakness being identified in the book of Romans. So in this 2022, as you are studying the book of Romans, it will give you such a fresh, is a book of Romans, you know, and... Um, for the one new man, and uh, you will you will see how Paul uh, described himself and what was his role. He was so clear. He was so focused on his calling, on his an anointing that was resting upon his calling. The grace of Yahweh was working mightily, resting upon his calling. Yes. Yes, they're resting upon his calling. That's, by the way, that's shofar, the instrument of Yahweh. So Paul, the, the bone servant, he described himself of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, called, appointed to be an apostle, separate to the gospel of Elohim. Paul stated very clear that he has been uh, called by Christ, he has been appointed to the office of the apostle, which we will describe this whole year 2022, the office of the apostle in the school of the prophets, to separate to the gospel of Elohim. No other gospel except the gospel of Elohim, the gospel of the kingdom, the gospel of heaven. He was very clear. That he is a, he, he presented himself, he, he gave his name, he introduced himself, he was Saul, but he became Paul when God transformed his life, he gave him new identity and new name. And he described in the second uh, chronic, uh, Corinthians 5.27, 
uh, 17, 5, 17, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, that in Christ all things are passed away, behold, all things become new. He experienced on the way to Damascus that mighty transformation that it took him from Saul to be Paul, transform him from the murderer to a saint. From the one who persecuted the church to the one who become a catalyst, an apostle, primarily to the Gentiles, sharing the gospel of the kingdom and bringing all the way to Rome. So it is very important to know for you right now, not to be tossed about to and fro. You must know your name, name that Yahweh has been given to you, written in the book of life. You must know that you are a bone servant, you are a slave of Jesus Christ, you are a slave of no, to nobody, you are a slave of Jesus Christ and only to Jesus, and you are called, you are appointed to the office, to the calling that Yahweh has appointed for you, and to, to be separate, set apart for the gospel of Elohim. That means you, you are going out of Babylon. You are going out of the Babylonian system. You have nothing to do with the Babylonian system of the world. You are being separate for, to be a holy people, to the people of Yahweh, to the kingdom of our Lord Yeshua HaMashiach. That is why you have been born again. If you accept Yeshua as your Lord and Savior, you have been baptized in water, you have been filled with the Holy Spirit and fire, you have been born again to the kingdom of God. Because it is impossible for you to enter and see the kingdom. At least you are born of water and in the Spirit. This is what Yeshua has spoken and taught to the religious leader in his days. Who was called the ruler of the people. In John chapter 3. He described to Nicodemus how to be born again. You may be in religion for a long time. You may, be, you may be even a pop or priest or pastor or leader. Of the, you may be a principal of the nomination of Bible school and college, but you may not be born again. So make sure you have real thing on the inside of you. The living water of the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. You have real relationship with Almighty Yahweh. You are able to see His face. You are able to hear his voice, and you are his witness. This is what Paul was. Verse 2, this is only introduction. Which he, Yeshua, Christ, Adonai, promised before through his prophets, Yahweh, through his prophets, in the Holy Scriptures. Second Chronicles 2. 20 and 20 says, Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Believe him, you shall be established. God spoke in Hebrew chapter 1 in the beginning that he spoke through his people, the prophets. But in the last days, he's speaking to us through his beloved son Yeshua. Why? Because Hebrew 19 verse 10 says that the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Concerning his son, beloved, let us concerning his son, Yeshua HaMashiach, from this mountain of the Lord, when the word of the Lord Yahweh runs swiftly. Concerning his son, Yeshua HaMashiach, our Adonai, Lord, who was born of the seed of David, according to the flesh, verse 4, and declare to be the son of Elohim with power, dunamis, force, according to the spirit of holiness. Beloved, if you are born again, you are holy, you are separate. You love righteousness and you hate sin with passion. You are zealous for the house of Yahweh. 
Because the spirit of holiness burning inside of you with a zeal and a fresh fire for the kingdom of Yahweh, for the gospel of the kingdom of Yahweh, to be a witness, to shout of, the, of his holiness gospel that Yeshua is coming from the rooftop to the basements, from the byway and highway and streetway corners, that Yeshua is coming. Yeshua is Adonai. Yeshua is Lord. With the spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead, O oh, beloved, this is the power of resurrection. The it is not small Holy Ghost. It is not small Holy Spirit. It is a spirit of resurrection. I believe that all of you, one or upon the time or severally, have seen the death of your loved ones. You remember you stood at the grave and everything was dormant, was silent. Our beloved, the same Spirit on the third day who raised Yeshua from the dead is quick and make alive our own mortal bodies. The Holy Ghost, the Spirit of Resurrection. You remember John chapter 11 where friend of Yeshua, Lazarus, was sick in Capernaum, in Bethany, which is not far from the Olive Mount when Yeshua is going to come back. His friend, 